Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in the previous lecture we have talked about uh, what are the equilibrium constant and uh, as well as we have got to know that what is chemical equilibrium along with that of the Lee-Chandler's principle. And now based on that we are going to talk about electrolytes and what are electrolytes and what are the classification of electrolytes. Let us learn in this chapter. Talking about the electrolytes. So what is actually electrolyte? So electrolyte is basically the substance which on dissolving in water or either any polar solvent dissociates or ionizes to form cation and anion. And those are basically known as electrolytes. So talking about that is cations, cations uh, if I recall it, cations are the, those species which has positively charged uh, and uh, talking about the anions, these are those species which, which have basically negative charge on that. And uh, that is the reason that uh, some kind of uh, substance when they are uh, being dissolved in water either they ionize in the form of cation or anion uh, or either they dissociate. So now we are going to talk about uh, a few uh, examples of the electrolytes uh, like that of the NaCl. So NaCl is the one which when dissolving in water when we will dissolve in water so therefore this will give us Na plus along with that of Cl minus. But talking about the another example that we are talking about here, we are talking about cations and anion. So similarly here we have got a cation and anion. But we have uh, the concept known as acid as well as base. So therefore even acids are those substances which can uh, dissociate completely in water or any polar solvent and they can form cation and anion. So for example if I talk about that is HCl which is an acid, it dissociates into H plus and Cl minus. And talking about a strong base like NaOH, even NaOH is the one which dissociates basically into Na plus and OH minus. So therefore basically we could say that uh, it is not only a strong acid or a strong base that we are talking about but any kind of salt uh, either could be uh, whether it would be a strong acid or a strong base or whether it could be a weak acid and weak base but that is also called to be that is uh, electrolyte because whether it dissociates or whether it doesn't dissociate uh, completely but still it would be called as electrolyte so therefore the electrolytes can be a basically ionic compound can be a covalent compound or uh, can be solved that on dissociation or then on dissolving uh, in water they will dissociate or they will ionize so that's the reason that the classification of the electrolytes is also uh, very necessary for us so let us understand what is the classification of the electrolyte so this is the classification of the electrolyte that we are going to talk about that is strong electrolyte and weak electrolyte. So talking about the strong electrolyte first. So these are the electrolytes which are dissociation in uh, that is uh, uh, which are dissolving in water they dissociate completely so therefore the main characteristic of this kind of uh, electrolyte are basically they dissociate or we could say they ionize completely and that is the reason that uh, strong electrolytes like example if I would say for uh, a strong acid like HCl, H2SO4 these are strong acids uh, and meanwhile they are also called as strong electrolytes the reason behind that is whenever they are being uh, dissolved in water or uh, in, in, in a particular solvent then it, they dissociate completely into their respective cations as well as anions and that makes them to be strong electrolyte. So therefore if I am talking about H2SO4, so H2SO4 when, on, uh, when it dissolves in water so it completely gives us 2 moles of H plus while SO4 2 minus. So that makes it to be strong electrolyte and it is not necessary that only a acid would be a strong electrolyte even the salt like NaCl, KCl. So they, all kind of salts are basically uh, strong electrolytes and uh, that's the reason that they help in the conduction of electricity. So every electrolyte can conduct electricity but they dissociate completely. So that is what we are uh, we have talked uh, about in this case and uh, talking about the next one that we have that is weak base. So talking about the next one that we have that is weak electrolyte. It is completely opposite of that of the strong electrolyte because in strong electrolyte what uh, the concept is that any substance that dissociates completely in water they are called to be strong electrolyte and uh, most importantly they should be an electrolyte. And talking about the weak electrolyte, weak electrolyte, weak electrolyte are those substances which do not dissociate completely but they dissociate 
partially so that is the reason that uh, we can say that weak red light dissociates or you could say ionizes partially for example if i would say for a weak acid like that of the that is ch3 COOH which is basically known as acetic acid suppose if acetic acid undergoes a dissociation so what will happen then basically it would give us CH3 COO minus plus H plus so if you observe that uh, in weak light right they don't dissociate completely that's the reason that this symbol is been used so this is not unidirectional this is this is a reverse uh, direction both the direction that we have and that's the reason that this kind of uh, uh, electrolytes give a reversible process and that is the reason that uh, they don't dissociate completely when it is already in uh, water so it, it was an example of uh, that is a weak electrolyte. Right? right so similarly we could uh, give another example uh, so this was an acid weak acid so i could give an example of weak base so that is basically nh4oh so even this is a substance or this is a base that we know that it doesn't dissociate completely in water that's the reason that it will give us nh4 plus plus oh minus ions so since this is the one that gives us uh, a cation and a uh, and, and, and so it could be called as electrolyte but uh, the thing is it doesn't dissociate completely so that's the reason that we are uh, talking about the classification of electrolyte and yes this is called to be a weak electrolyte or we could also call it as a weak base so this was uh, a few examples that i have uh, mentioned about the electrolytes and this electrolytes are very important in understanding that uh, how can we understand the ionic equilibrium of this uh, kind of substance so that's it so thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have understood what is electrolyte and what are the classification of electrolyte i know that you will share this video with the friends and don't forget to subscribe to the channel thank you so much